Let's start section 5.2, which is about mathematical induction. And so what I want us to do is consider the following calculations. So 1 minus 1 half. That'll be one half. One minus one half times one minus one third. That's one half times two thirds or one third. And then let's do one more of these. One minus one half. One minus one third times one minus one fourth. If you compute this, you'd see it's the same thing as one fourth. So let's look at these calculations, right? One half, one third, one fourth. What I wanna say is that it looks like there is a pattern. And let's guess what that pattern would be. So if I take 1 minus 1 half, 1 minus 1 third, all the way up through 1 minus 1 over k, what am I going to guess it's equal to? Looks like it would be 1 over k. So I'd say this is true for any integer k greater than or equal to 2. So then the question becomes, how do we prove this statement? We need to prove it for every value of k with k greater than or equal to 2. So we've already established that the formula is true for k equals 2. So what we want to do now is we could show that if the statement is true for some integer k, then it is also true for k plus 1. And so what this does is this kind of creates a circle. So if I know it's true for 2, then if I could show this next part here is true, since I know it's true for 2, it would be true for the next value 3. But then since I know it's true for 3, it would be true for the next value 4. And so it would keep increasing by 1, and it, this loop would cover all of the possible values of k. So let's see if we can prove this part here. So I assume it's true for k. So suppose or assume 1 minus 1 half, 1 minus 1 third, up through 1 minus 1 over k is 1 over k. And then what I need to do is I need to look at 1 minus 1 half, 1 minus 1 third, 
I need to show it's true for 1 over, for the next one, 1 over k plus 1. But in here, I have the term right before this last one, what comes before that, 1 over k. And now, for this part right here, I can use my formula that we have. This is 1 over k by this part right up here. So it's 1 over k times 1 minus 1 over k plus 1. And now what I'm going to do, we want to work our way down to having one fraction, so I'm going to get a common denominator on the inside, k plus 1 over k plus 1. And now I can combine them to be k over k plus 1, and the k's cancel to leave me with 1 over k plus 1, which is what I needed to show. I needed to show the formula was true for k plus 1. So this is the idea behind what's called mathematical induction. So let's go over what mathematical induction is. So the idea is that you have some property, or some maybe formula, P of n is a property that is defined for integers, and then A is going to represent some fixed number. And so you have two steps in mathematical induction. The first step, which is called the basis step. And what you do is you're going to show P of A is true show that the property is true for some initial value. And then the second step is called the inductive step. And what you need to do is you need to show for every integer k greater than or equal to a, if p of k is true, then p k plus 1 is true. 